Well, hey everyone, Zach here from the Shooter Zone. Today we're gonna make just an inexpensive little shooting stand. I know everybody's always trying to have uh, affordable little, little gimmicks here and there to use for their air guns. But this is a Harbor Freight roller stand. Runs about $18. A couple two by fours, cut down to length. These are both 16 inches. And this is a two by four that I ripped in half, about six and a half inches long. We're gonna make the, the actual uh, table of it two, two by fours wide. Okay, so I also have two, two and a half, three eighths bolts, washers. Also these little inserts that hold uh, the other end, the nut, so to speak. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these on there right now. This removes very easily. You just push in the end, pops back off. You could actually keep that and use that down the road. The reason why I'm putting these on first is it just kind of plums everything up to make sure everything is square. Just finger tight is good. Then we're going to figure out, sorry I'm out of the picture here. We're just going to figure out our center lines on this so we can place the two 2x4s two on here evenly. Probably should have done this before I actually put this on here. All right. I always like to use one of these. And that'll give us our center point to where we mount the two by fours. Can tighten these down just a little bit more just so it doesn't flop around. Again, don't mind me as I get out of the scene here. I'm gonna get some screws. I just bought some two and a half inch decking screws. They always seem to work good for wood. Gonna need eight of these all together. up there for now. And if we want to measure the gap here to make sure we got the right distance on both sides, we can see what that is, which looks like it's going to be right at about three and a half inches on each side. Doesn't have to be exact, of course, but we will make it that way as much as possible. Let me just grab another drill bit here for a pilot hole and I'll be right back. 
All right, now we're back. Okay, again, we're just going to drill a couple little pilot holes here. Just to make it a little bit easier for us as we screw it in. And I like putting in one at a time we get the first one in, then we know the other ones are going to be lined up properly. We can get it to go a little bit through, make sure we get it exactly in the hole first. We want. There we go. First one in. Again, I want to drill another pilot hole for this side. And this isn't rocket science, just put it where you feel like it needs to go. Switch the bit back out again. Got that counter sunk nice. This way it doesn't mar up anything. Alright, now we can get the second piece. Put that on there. Same thing. Gonna drill a couple pilot holes. again. Again, I like going back and forth here because it just ensures that everything stays lined up properly. Last thing I'm going to do is drill two holes and find out one of them isn't lined up. All right, here's that. Now, if those are gonna stay in place, I wanna drill four more holes because I want two screws on each side holding it down. This way I know it's not gonna go anywhere. Not that they will like this, but it helps from any distorting of the wood too, keeping everything in place. Those I could just do. one here. Alright. 
Let's get four more screws. Again, make sure you get these counters sunk. So there's no sharp thing sticking up. And the last screw here. nice thing is again it does swivel a little bit if we need to there's uh, ground that's not necessarily stable but then once you get it to where you want it to be just tighten up the bolts a little bit and there you go there you have it it's our $20 shooting stand again Harbor Freight Get the roller stand. Once you get the roller stand, take off the roller, cut your pieces, two 16 inch, two by fours, two six and a half inch, two by fours with a two by four cut in half. And just some screws. Again, the inserts for the three eighths bolts, three eighths bolts and washers, and you're all set. Well, I hope this helped. I hope you could put this to use. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. So take care now.